so the radiograph shows if you get a question like this in your exam the first thing you should do is have a look at the options very carefully to analyze what is the examiner trying to ask so here the examiner wants to ask basically which lobe is involved and whether it is consolidation or collapse so for that we should know what is the difference between consolidation and collapse so consolidation is nothing but replacing air in the alveoli with either fluid or pus or rbcs basically something more dense than air so it will look white while on the other hand collapse means removal of the air so it will also look white because we have removed the black air so both will look white consolidation and collapse so how do we differentiate the two on a radiograph it is by looking at the shift of the surrounding structures in consolidation there's no mass effect so there will be no shift while in collapse because of the volume loss it will pull the structures towards it so there will be same side shift so example if this is the right lung this is the horizontal fissure so this becomes the right upper lobe if there is consolidation the fissure will remain in its position there will be only white opacity here if there is collapse this is the horizontal fissure if there is right upper lobe collapse it will pull the fissure towards it so from horizontal now the fissure will be pulled up it will go up towards the right upper lobe so shift of the structures helps us to identify collapse in consolidation trachea would be in the center in collapse trachea will be pulled towards that side so remember that shift of the structures is important in differentiating the two so if we have a look at this lateral chest x ray now and i ask you which is the left lung and which is the right lung so this becomes the left lung and this becomes the right lung why because left lung has only two lobes that is upper and lower lobe there's no middle lobe so it has one fissure while right lung has three lobes so it has two fissures so the one fissure common in both is this oblique fissure so oblique fissure becomes the major fissure because it is seen in both the lungs while the horizontal fissure which is there only on the right side it becomes the minor fissure so horizontal fissure is the minor fissure so what is the horizontal fissure separating which lobes of the right lung it is separating the upper lobe from the middle lobe oblique fissure here on the left side separates the upper lobe from the lower lobe so whatever is posterior to the oblique fissure that is the lower lobe on both sides so again if we have a look here this is the horizontal fissure this is the oblique fissure of right lung this is the oblique fissure of left lung so right upper lobe right middle lobe you will have right lower lobe left lower lobe here and this entire thing here would be left upper lobe so if you have right middle lobe consolidation so this is the right middle lobe area if there is consolidation we said it will look white but the fissures will be in their position if there is right middle lobe collapse so if this middle lobe collapses it will pull the fissures towards it so from horizontal the fissure will now come here down this inferior part of oblique fissure will go up so you will have the fissure here so you will see an opacity overlying the heart a triangular opacity that is white in structure so if this is the heart shadow you will see a triangular shadow overlying the cardiac shadow in right middle lobe collapse so that is the classical image of right middle lobe collapse because we said that in consolidation the fissure will still be horizontal so now if we go to a question what does the radiograph show so first of all this is the cardiac shadow and we see this triangular opacity overlying the heart so this becomes right middle lobe collapse so the correct answer is option b we said that if it was a consolidation it would be the fissure would be horizontal in its position but here the fissure is pulled down by the collapse so this is right middle lobe collapse if it was lower lobe pathology it would be posterior to the oblique fissure 
so the lower lobe pathology will come here horizontal fissure is here normally so upper lobe will come here so overlying the heart is the middle lobe pathology and this is right middle lobe collapse so hope this helps you in differentiating consolidation from collapse and identifying the lobar pathologies